previously on superposition. So these are independent voltage sources in different orientation. And also at this side, we have our independent current sources having different orientation. We learned that in superposition, only independent sources can be turned off, so regardless of orientation. Okay, so now let's move to the example. So let us solve for the voltage across 4 ohms using superposition. Okay. First, what do you need to do? You need to count the number of independent sources. Okay. How many independent sources do we have? We have one, two. Two independent sources. So later on, let's name first this one, six volts, as source one, then three amperes as source two. So later on, we'll have one independent current or voltage source at a time in solving superposition. So first, we have two independent Okay, we need to get the voltage across 4 ohms. Okay, voltage across 4 ohms. Okay, when source 1 is turned on and source 2 is turned off, let us name the voltage across 4 ohms as V prime. When source 2 is turned on and the source 1 is turned off, let us name the voltage across 4 ohms as V double prime. And then, later on, we will add both V prime and V double prime to get the actual voltage across 4 ohms. Okay? Our first step was to determine the number of independent sources. So we have discovered two independent sources here, voltage source and a current source. Okay, so one uh, source at a time being turned on, so the other one will be turned off. So V prime, V double prime, then you need to add it up to get the actual voltage across 4 ohms. Okay, let's move to source 1 turned on, so source 2 turned off. Okay, so we have 6 volts. 8 ohms and 4 ohms. And for our current source, since it is turned off, we have an open circuit. Okay? Open circuit, a discontinuous path. Source 1, source 2. Okay? And the voltage across 4 ohms is V prime. So here we have a series circuit of 8 ohms and 4 ohms and 6 volts. So this one is just a series circuit because this one is uh, disconnected, right? There's no path in this uh, branch. So essentially, the circuit is just 6 volts and then 8 ohms. And at this point, it will not branch out in this path and in this path. It will just flow. The current will flow to this path only. So it is a series circuit. And we can get the voltage across 4 ohms by using voltage divider. So, when using the voltage divider, it is a ratio. Okay? Ratio multiplied by the supply voltage. So, how do you know which is the numerator for voltage divider? So, in voltage divider, you need to get the resistance in study. So, we're looking for the voltage across 4 ohms. Therefore, the numerator will be 4 ohms over the sum of the two resistance. Okay? 4 over 4 plus 8 multiplied by the source 6 volts. So V prime is equal to 2 volts. So as you can see, these 2 volts is just the effect of one source acting on it. Okay? Acting on 4 ohms. So we don't have source 2 yet. So next one, we have source 1 off, source 2 on. So uh, we have source 1 turned off. So it is a voltage source. Therefore, it will just be, it will just be a wire. Okay, a simple wire. 
source 1, source 2. So this time, source 2 is turned on, source 1 is off. And we're looking for the voltage across 4 ohms, which is named as V double prime. Okay? So the new circuit that we have is what? So we have two resistors in parallel, which is also in parallel with the current source. Okay? So how do I know that it is in, how did I know this is in parallel? So we have the legs of, so two legs are connected, two legs are connected, and two directly connected, so they are in parallel. <clears throat> So since this is a current source, it is more effective to use or easier to use a current divider. Okay. So we need to get a current that flows through 4 ohms named as I double prime. I just call it I double prime because the voltage across 4 ohms is V double prime. So partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's use current divider in getting the current that flows through 4 ohms. Then later, we'll multiply that current to get the voltage across 4 ohms. Okay. So in using current divider, so in voltage divider, the numerator is the resistance in study. So this time around in current divider, if you wanted to know the current that flows through 4 ohms, so the numerator will be the other resistor, the resistor not in study. So you have 8 ohms over the sum of the two resistances multiplied by the current source 3 amp. Okay, so now we have our I double prime equal to 2 amperes. So 2 amperes flows uh, flows through 4 ohms, but we need to get V double prime. So V double prime is just the uh, multiplication of current and resistance. So 2 amperes times 4 ohms equal to 8 volts. So the effect of having our second source, source 2, to our 4 ohms, so this one, 8 volts. So we have source 1 turned off source 2 turned on. Okay. So we're not yet done. So let's have a summary. The voltage across 4 ohms, when source 1 turned on, source 2 is off. We have 2 volts. V prime is equal to 2 volts. While source 2 turned on, source 1 is off. V double prime is equal to 8 volts. So adding it up, 2 plus 8 is 10 volts. Okay, so that's how you use superposition. That's it.